Oh, hi there, guys, and welcome back for some more No More Heroes 2 Desperate Struggle. Why do you say howdy? I don't I'm know. I'm sure that but... save was a desperate struggle. Pretty sure you made that joke already. No. Desperately struggling to save. He's he saved constipated. Or saves to pay it. I don't, I, I don't know. His disclosure is run to slow. Save state. <laughs> what would that even entail? Well, like his save, call, his save colon is like clogged and stuff. Well, does he show that sticks? cactus up his ass? Not yet. I want to show the cactus up his ass. <laughs> That's a different game. Do you think? Do you think like dogs are huge dicks when they're playing video games because they save over their, save over other people's save spots? <laughs> You're thinking way too hard into this meta save. <laughs> Pretty sure save states are just tiny saves that you can go back to at a different time and finish. But what if you want to use a new one? Don't destroy Santa. <laughs> well, like, I had a dog once and he, like, saved over my copy of SSX Tricky and then he just ate the disc and I had to go buy a new one. Damn, dude. <laughs> Thanks, Ethan. Really, really. Are up. you saying that to Sylvia or the dog? The dog story. I mean, that's depressing. No, no dog should eat video games. Because <laughs> video games are poison. <laughs> oh, yeah, or worse, they could get scratch marks. <laughs> Cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> Drugs are bad. Case three spoilers. Well, double case three spoilers. Drugs are bad. Okay. So what we don't do? Josh. Now? Wait, can't. At least I'm not saying damn dude in five seconds. Josh, how damn your dude, asshole. <laughs> I didn't have one. Uh, how was your Christmas? entire holiday? <laughs> uh, you guys ready for walking? Side scrolling. Is this Ray Arnold? Bum, 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 Are you ready for no more? You know he is right. It does look like something straight out of Hey Arnold. Now all we need is just the jazzy music and uh, Helga. And Stoop well, Kid. I'm not. I'm not gonna make the jazzy music with my. Oh my! Is the boss here, Stoop Kid? Uh, He's afraid to leave the stoop. That would be the easiest boss. You just kick him off the stoop and you win. But he presses, like, a button on his stoop and, like, the stoop rises and out reveals, like, a giant mecha. <laughs> <laughs> but he can't leave his stoop. I know, but because the stoop is going with him. Yeah. <laughs> so his entire house is just a giant mecha. Nah, not his house, just a stoop. Speaking <laughs> of... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Why is... Why is... Why is Travis on the side of a building? Because I don't know. <laughs> is he like a fame? Is is he like famous? Like well, he wasn't. Come to our town and view the famous assassin. I mean, to some extent. Also, they just made a cool render of him and wanted to put it on a bunch of shit. So. I mean, it's my phone background right now. Thank you. So we're actually going back to fighting enemies. And now we're dying. That makes the same two noises. <laughs> That's how it's always been. Wouldn't be no more heroes without it. No, only if they made a third game. They did all the sound effects for this game in the course of about an hour. It's good. <laughs> Red Sword's pretty good for this level. At least that guy was courteous enough to let you pull your sword out. <laughs> Didn't attack me at all. What a real gentleman. Street it's because he was nice. black. The black ones are the best ones. But they all and then you died. brutally murdered him in a dark alley. Well, he was gonna murder me if I didn't. Prove it. Uh, he came at me with a crowbar. Maybe yeah, he just open. wanted to open your can of soda. You don't know. Are we getting top over here? Let's try not to. Speaking of crowbars, did you know the crowbar is the first item you can get in Pajama Sam 2? 
I did not. No, I didn't thank you for the tidbit, Ethan, so I'm gonna play Pajama Sam 2. You know, well, technically, the first item you get is the cape that Pajama Sam needs to wear so he can go out to the dark attic. Don't give him any ideas. If we actually do a playthrough of Pajama Sam, Sam <laughs> I, should I don't even. I've never played Pajama Sam, but it's. Wait just... a minute, that actually is a good idea. Thanks, me. Oh, you're <laughs> welcome. <laughs> I like Pajama Sam. I like Pajama Sam. Are you Pajama Sam? Nah. I don't even have any pajamas. Anyone ever wear pajamas? So this is- uh, I'm wearing sweatpants, does that count? No. So this is the longest level in the game. It's even longer than that parking lot. And there's no music. No, oh, that's- that sucks. We don't need- So I can insert my own music. Yeah. Like my mixtape. <laughs> Does it have nickel all back on it? Where can we download this next to? That's a good question. Uh, what's your name? Uh, what's your name? What's your name? <laughs> That's a hard question. Sometimes. Do any of us really know each other? No. No. Dude, that was deep. We just We've show up and seen for 20 parts of the same video game without ever knowing who one of us is. Mm -hmm. I'm black. Me too. I still never got an answer about how Josh's Christmas went. <laughs> well, Josh, how'd your Christmas go? Some Christmas, huh? <laughs> how the Josh Some Christmas. Huh. Damn, dude. Huh. I sort of do want to see how the Grinch still uh, gets missed now. <laughs> was the night before Skitsmith and all through the house. Quante's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That was strangely accurate. <laughs> for, for that <laughs> holiday in specific. <laughs> it is a I, I, I would not... I would not doubt that that would be a thing. <laughs> it, even, it wouldn't even rhyme. <laughs> the entire book would rhyme with that one line. That would be the only line that's in the book. <laughs> <laughs> it would just be filled with that one line. You see the dedicated page. So it's just, dedicated just different, part. just different what part. Bitch. Kids ripped off worldwide when they buy this book for seven dollars. <laughs> it's just one sentence. I wonder how like the publisher interview with that would go. Okay. You already know everything about it. You just show bitchtown.jpg. <laughs> See, the idea for this book came to me when I was watching someone play a video game about a guy that watches anime and pets his cat beat up dude with a laser sword. <laughs> <laughs> and then they politely escorted me out of the Then they, before they published my book, they asked me to take a drug test. <laughs> Not gonna say what I got, but uh, let's just say uh, I certainly uh, passed more than the rest of the class. Let's just say I had extra credit. <laughs> It even looks like he should be able to swing that that fast. Good thing That's the beauty of science fiction. <laughs> oh no, does the game attempt to be science fiction? Gotcha. Well, we just beat up a space man. So good. They haven't done anything too magical yet, have they? I mean, we killed an anime girl in the dreams of an Irish guy. <laughs> that voice doesn't look like it should match that guy at all. You got this strong, muscular guy, and it just sounds like <laughs> uncorrect. I, I body slammed him so hard he stopped existing. <laughs> Speaking of not fitting, I've just been playing the SpongeBob soundtrack for this whole video. <laughs> Why this is all the no music? 
it won't fit in. <laughs> Not bad, I would say. It just reminds me of the picture Josh showed me with Zero Suit Samus and Samus in the treehouse and Ridley at the bottom. <laughs> it's like, you won't fit in. No, Ridley, no. You win your big nose, definitely. Well, Ridley does have a big nose. It's big everything. It's just a big brain. He has a mother actually, brain. Actually, Ridley is very sweet. Player, thank you. I mean, Ridley does have a like PhD. In killing parents? I don't know where, but I'm pretty sure at one point the Metroid people were like, Yeah, Ridley has a PhD. He's also a puppy. Fact. <laughs> Fact. Ridley is a puppy and a doctor. Then again, I've never really played a Metroid game, so I'm not ju a judge about this kind of stuff. You just read Metroid High School, and that was enough information for you. I have actually never read it. But he has listened Ethan to it. Out, I don't even think I've listened to it. I don't think I was there for that. Oh, Ethan God. Unsteaded? <laughs> should, I, should I read that whole thing again? Now nah, we're good. <laughs> okay. I want my first Metroid experience to be magical. <laughs> well, Metroid High School will do that for you. It's the backstory for it. I have better things to be magical to pop by. <laughs> and that's how I got castrated. Oh, <laughs> so sorry about that. The call sort of ended. You all didn't miss much. I was just telling the story about how I got castrated. Yeah, it was it was really good actually. Maybe we'll yeah. tell. It had solid execution from the beginning to the end. <laughs> no stuttering. To the end. Wait, you were an Egyptian, Ethan? Brilliant rhetoric. No, no, dude. I've been in the U.S. of A. all 19 years of my life, almost 20. Y'all better buy me a birthday present. <laughs> I will buy you two hundred nine dollars and ten cents. How do you buy money? <laughs> money tree. Gift it's like so someone comes out of a dark alley. Hey, you wanna buy some money? <laughs> of course I do. Hey kids, you wanna buy some money? Yeah. Well, good. I have a bunch of money in my van. Van opens. It's just a billion dollars. Oh, that'd be cool. The van flies away. Money going to the air. It transforms into a hot air balloon. Thus beginning the plot of Willy Wonka 3. Dude, you should tell your students, like, stories every day when you become a teacher. I think that'd make them dumber, not smarter. Are you sure? I mean, this, this is the future of America we're talking about here. I, I want these kids to grow up and not do what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> you have a point. <laughs> you mean not commentate over video games? The, I am showing watches. my kids all of my videos. Oh. <laughs> and be like, do not grow up to be me. <laughs> Dang, dude. Stay in school, kids. I mean, I unless you want to. I mean, I don't blame you. I'm look really attractive. You know how much I can bench? Uh, <laughs> I think you sit on a lot of benches. I can, I can probably bench 150. I like prefer minutes? bleachers. You can probably bench the bar. Bleachers are better. Nah, dude. Benching is all about technique, and I am a man of technique. That's my favorite character. What technique? Do you, know? you don't know shit about technique. I... First, you spin around, stop. Well, you're not <laughs> your right foot. Don't forget it. <laughs> in fact, the technique characters in Mario Tennis for the N64 are Peach, Daisy, Birdo, Waluigi. Wait, Birdo's in that game? Yeah. Ugh, really? N64 Birdo. That sounds yeah, crazy. it's a... I, uh, I, I forgot to... Uh, yeah, Daisy and Birdo are double partners if you pick Daisy. But if you pick Birdo, then Birdo's double partner is Yoshi. I can't imagine Birdo 64. That would probably look awful. It'd probably look like a square. I should record that for this channel after Jam and Sam 2. Well, I know Bowser looks awful in that game. Bowser just looks like a mess. Yeah. Oh, hey, we did this part of the video game. Bowser just looks like a complete mess. I wonder what's gonna happen in the next part. In the next part, more of the same.
Nuh-uh. You're lying. 